Hey, I'm Corwin, and today we're doing the front end on the Cadillac. Okay, so the biggest thing um, about me is that I tend to just jump into projects without thinking about them too hard first. Um, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see here, I just kind of jumped right in, tried to get everything as greased up as I possibly could to make it easier on myself. But ultimately, these parts are 60 years old, and who knows if any of them have ever been worked on before. So it's always a uh, exercise in patience, and I don't always have it. So what can you do? Okay, so I was able to get uh, this ball joint cleared off. You can see there's threads here uh, that this boot sits on top of, which came out fine. The issue that I had was this guy here, uh, which is seated onto the ball joint, and this is how you adjust the camber. Uh, oh man, I had it marked with a sharpie line so that I could see how it went back in. I think I think that's it. But uh, yeah, okay. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> the next issue though is this piece, which connects actually to the frame. Uh, these bushings on the end, I just don't see how they're supposed to come out. Like they had a nut on this side which holds it in but you can see here this piece is pressed like that's a solid piece you can see on the new one over there how it looks but there's no way that I see to get this middle piece out so that I can press these out so I hate to destroy it but I don't know might have to do a little tinkering with that but I'm gonna try to get this ball joint out and see uh, how the new tool works so fingers crossed so the biggest issue I had with this really is that it's it's incredibly difficult to hold uh, two adapters, a giant C-clamp, and the part you're working on with a broken finger. So here I am already resorting to violence. Uh, you can tell it's going to be a long day. Okay, so <laughs> next problem here. You can see I did a little cutting on this already. Um, let me see if I can find a new one. Yeah, so here you can see there's a piece on the top of this. Um, it doesn't let it sit in the cup, uh, which it needs to, so that the ball joint can fall out. So uh, it's super tight right here. I think this one would fit perfectly over that ball joint and allow it to fall out, but this metal piece it's just in the way, so I really don't want to have to cut around this whole thing. But this just this doesn't seat on anything. It's not gonna it's not gonna press flush. So I don't know. I guess I'll keep playing with it and see what I can come up with. So at this point, I decided to pull my head on my ass and look at the new one and see how it was put together. And lo and behold. Uh, I was making a big deal about nothing, so future Corwin apologizes for past Corwin's ridiculousness. Uh, it worked! Um, okay, so what I did is I actually got the new one here, and you can see that piece is actually just pressed on uh, flush with the top, but it's not actually attached other than that, so... Um, I just put the cup right on top of that piece instead uh, and it just pushed the rest of the ball joint out uh, perfectly so I'm really surprised that work worked honestly um, I don't know it seems like everything I do something goes wrong so when something <laughs> actually works it's uh, kind of a surprise so I'm gonna do a little bit more tinkering with this one and then I guess what I'll do is um, I don't know, I guess I'll just try to push out these other ones and then these really need to get cleaned up. You can see how dirty and nasty this stuff is. So I'll clean all that up and then um, probably just shoot it with some paint uh, or just something to protect it, get all the grease off and stuff and then oh, keep going. It's, uh, 
it's a hot one today so complaining about the heat and takes another drink of coffee what a genius okay so the biggest issue on this piece is that there's just really there's just really no way to get it out and you can see me looking at the new one uh, learning from my mistakes like I did on the other ball joint so uh, 10 points there but uh, I think maybe hitting it a couple of times would work it obviously doesn't so I try to hit it again um, thinking it maybe it would work the second time obviously it doesn't so I try hitting it in a different direction um, I'll learn here one of these days uh, that doesn't always work but the rubber's old so maybe trying to work it loose would help but no here we are we go into the vise oh hitting it again yeah okay uh, that makes a whole lot of sense doesn't it um, apologies to my wife because every time I did this I have this workbench mounted to the wall uh, so it's super sturdy but every time I smack something real hard it knocks all the wine glasses off of the <laughs> off the off the wall on the inside of the house so uh, I came in, there was stuff everywhere. But here I am, um, further lubricating, further prying, further hitting, and just nothing is working. So, oh, okay, there's a power tool. That was something new. Um, guess it didn't work though, because I resorted back to hitting it again. It's like if I spent even five minutes just trying a different technique, you know, you'd think it wouldn't take me quite as long to do things. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, don't. Viewer beware. Uh, this is. This is not good. Um, but there I am hitting it again, so I'm getting really good at hitting this stuff. Uh, and especially with a broken finger, you can imagine how good that feels. Okay, yeah, this is uh, getting frustrating. So the first one uh, came out, and the reason why is because it was already. Let me get it. It was already part of the way out, and you can see that. This just presses in, and once I got this one out, I was able to slide out the middle piece. But the problem is this one is in crooked. You might be able to see it. Yeah, so that's... I think it's supposed to be straight, obviously. You can see down in here, there's way more rubber on one side than the other. You'll have to excuse the carnage. Uh, I don't know. I'm out of... Uh, kind of out of ideas I guess I'll just keep I thought maybe if I could get the middle piece out then I can just compress the outer piece and just you know pop it out but there's nothing to grab onto here to press it um, and this middle piece doesn't want to budge anymore I guess I need to get a torch that would probably be the professional way to do it just heat up this side and just hit it with a hammer until it falls out uh, I don't know, my wife doesn't really let me play with fire, so... Uh, I don't know, I might just come back to this and uh, work on some of this other stuff. I don't know, there's plenty of other things to do, so... I guess I'll come back to it. Already giving up. It wasn't even 11 a.m., that's pathetic. Uh, the lower one actually was a lot easier for some reason. There's only that one, that one ball joint there at the end, and then the... Well, here's another little bit of foreshadowing. The other bearing uh, on the shallow side just fell out um, when I took it off the car. So I didn't even have to worry about that, which is great. Um, but moving on over to the other side, I kind of have some idea what I'm doing now. So this one goes a lot faster. Okay, so this is weird. So this uh, boot, sorry, I don't want to get my hands all dirty. It's actually full of grease. The other one, you can see, Full of grease and on this side uh, same thing it's just packed full of grease which is good that's what you want um, but the other one wasn't which is weird but then look this side it doesn't have the same flange on it I mean it doesn't even make any sense I guess I don't know maybe that one that one's right because the new ones have that flange so I don't know if at some point in the 60 years of this car's life someone swapped this out and then I don't know it's all very confusing but hey um, that's what we're doing once again learning from my previous experience I'm just gonna go ahead and press this ball joint out and uh, call it quits on this a arm I'm not even gonna worry about that other part until 
much later. Uh, went ahead and took the bolts off, looked at it to see how it looked, and then said, nope, let's do the lower one instead. That's way easier. So, um, And the ball joint was easier, in fact. But uh, here I switch around to the uh, bearing side, the one that rotates against the frame, and, well, it definitely didn't go as easy as I thought it would. Okay, that was a close one. I thought I really screwed up. I was torquing away on this thing trying to figure out why it was screwing in to the press, but it wasn't coming out, and uh, you can see it is a little deformed. But turns out it was just squishing the bracket, but it's putting it up next to this one, it's fine. It's It just flexed this little bit on the end, but the problem is, how do I get this thing out? Uh, I think what I need to do is put a brace in between these two pieces here. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe grab some old sockets or something. I don't know. I'll look and see what I have. Turns out what I had was actually kind of a good idea, which for me uh, is a little rare. So one of these sockets fit perfectly against those two rails, and I was able to compress that bearing and push it out and um, it worked really well actually. Um, the only issue is it would only go so far because of the way that the mounts on the C-clamp work. So here I'm just trying to figure out how I can get all these pieces to fit and press without running out of space and it just really um, really didn't want to go. Um, I, I tried a couple of different things, a couple of different fittings, couple of different sockets, everything to try to get a good bite on that bearing and push it back all the way through and it just wouldn't go. So back at the vise, again, my the trusty vise, uh, just trying to get, of course, the bolt. <laughs> bolt wouldn't work. Uh, press wouldn't work. What what can I do to get it to work? It's, it's not going to fit in the vise either, but eventually uh, I flipped the socket around like a genius uh, and that gave me a lot more room. So I was able to kind of push it through and keep it going, but once I got it through this top side, I had to get it through the other side, and there was no longer anything to press on. So, and this was really tough. Obviously, with a big, you know, H style press, this would be a whole lot easier, but with what I have here and trying to utilize the tools that I already bought, it, oh man, it was really difficult. And, you know, I keep saying this, but all the rubber was just worn out, so there was no give in anything. And I'm, you can see I'm just cranking on this like crazy. Uh, this guy just does not want to come out. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just going to keep trying to press it this last little way, but I'm just running out of room, so... I don't know. Of course, so all that uh, wrenching I did on it before, I decided maybe I should just do that again because that worked so well the first time. So, you know, maybe I loosened it up a little bit, uh, but no, I'm just being an idiot here, just wasting more time trying the same things over and over again. And then at this point, yeah, okay, it just slammed right into my toolbox and then I couldn't break it loose. And then of course my finger's still broken. So uh, not a good look here. This is kind of embarrassing actually to watch back. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. Oh, look, I, I'm trying it again. Man, this guy, he just doesn't know when to quit. And then I can't get the vise to tighten down. It's turning in the vise because of all the torque. And then, okay, let's take it off. Good idea. Um, tightening the, okay. Now we're back to power tools. This actually, that stuff was so hard. The Sawzall wouldn't cut it. I had to get the grinder out and uh, get a new wheel because the other one wouldn't fit, wouldn't cut all the way through because of the size of the grinder. And um, eventually, yeah, just, okay, just whack it with a hammer, that, and that kind of worked. And then, because I chopped all that length off, I was able to press, press it back out the other way, and the funny thing is, it, I had a little, little too heavy on the trigger. Okay, I didn't want to do it, but I did it. Uh, I ended up cutting this thing, because it just would not go, I mean, I'm sure you guys saw me just absolutely wrenching on it, and it just would not push through that other side. I don't know if it was sitting cockeyed in there or what but man so combination of grinder and sawzall uh, that did it finally I guess now I just need to clean all this up and make sure that it's good to go for the new one to go in you can see this thing's 
dirty so um, I still need to figure out this dude I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but I can't really I can't get the new pieces in until I get these out and it's even worse on the other one because they're actually fitted properly so I don't know I guess I might check the book but I, I feel like I looked at it and there wasn't anything in there so I don't know just keep going I guess well the socket technique was actually so successful that I decided to try it again here and uh, it actually worked I was able to kind of press out that middle you can see it pop there and from there I was able to get the rest out okay success I got it out um, I ended up pressing out the middle bit which I threw away so and then from there I was able to just bend this in on itself until it loosened up all the tension around here I mean it's not like it's eh, there's a little rust uh, I don't know it's okay yeah there's there's some rust on there but you wouldn't think it would hold it that tight now this next one yeah I don't know <laughs> so at this point it was uh, kind of hot actually it was really hot and getting kind of late and I was kind of hungry so we're just gonna go straight for the power tools here and really I mean that's the most fun a guy can have in the garage right so I just cut straight through that piece rotated it around so that I could pop it out and just work with the bushings themselves um, it's kind of funny these were both flush you know that on the first one there was one that wasn't seated all the way so it was easier to get out but again going with the tried and true socket technique uh, to try to push out that center and um, just like I did on the other one and it actually worked um, you can see it's starting to compress there it just pushed the center right out and then I just grabbed a series of punches and just mutilated that piece until it just gave up and uh, let go which was fine and I, I didn't damage the bearing surface at all which I was actually kind of proud of so um, hopefully the other one goes in as easy as this one came out okay so both of these are out which is great uh, the first one I pushed the centerpiece out and then just decimated this outer metal piece uh, like I did to the other one but this one I went to push out the center and the whole thing just the whole thing just came out it's like I I guess that's how it's supposed to happen <laughs> I don't know but look at this inside of here look at that gouge that was not me because um, this is the one I just pressed I noticed this one up here let's see if I can find it yeah look at that dude it's just gouged I wonder if that let water in and then these just rusted up I don't know um, but I'm gonna get these cleaned up um, probably painted um, I'll do that off camera because that's not a lot of fun and then probably tomorrow um, I'll press the new ones in and then we can start putting some of this stuff back on so very exciting <laughs> 